What's up you guys, Orlando here with the Leisha Record Studio. In the tutorial today, we're gonna learn how to record bongos using only one mic. Wanna see that? Let's do it. And remember, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, you know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss any other videos from us. In a pretty special tutorial today, we're gonna learn how to record bongos in the studio today so let's do it right now and guys the mic we're using today is the roadie nt2a i love this mic this has been forever with me and i really trust the sound i can get with it um i have it set it up to cut everything below 80 everything below 80 it's not gonna be useful in any ways uh, especially for bongos for this instrument um, there's nothing that low in the spectrum um, of a bongo in any case we recorded this today we just wanted to create a vibe on this track and um, it sounded pretty awesome already so we have a, a, a track already set up a mono track uh, so we can track this You can record with stereo, you know, uh, mics, basically. You can record a stereo signal using something like this, something like couple, couple mics, um, condenser mics as well. These are natty uh, cardioid condenser mics. This can be pretty useful also for recording this one side and the other. Today, we just wanted to do with one mic uh, just to show you guys that you don't need two mics to do this. You can do it with one. You can use an SM57 also. Um, that's pretty common uh, if you want to record percussive instruments. But uh, I enjoy the sound of a good um, condenser mic because it gives me the vibe I'm looking for in bongos specifically for this track. So that said, hope you guys um, like the sound of this. And I'm going to show you right now how I process that signal to match the track, how I process it to get a better sound. So let's jump to it. And really quick guys, uh, let's see what we have here. The track that you can see here in yellow, it's an arcade with a um, pool side. This one is pretty cool. It has a bunch of cool stuff to play with, like, like the bass drum there. Mm -hmm. 
those awesome guitars as well because we want to focus on the bongos uh, for this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and render what I have here right now, um, which is basically a, a structure uh, for us to play um, and record the bongo. Um, and uh, let me do that really quick. I'm going to go ahead and select this and go here to edit and I'm going to go render in place, render settings, and I'm going to make sure everything looks okay there. I'm going to go ahead and render that. It's going to take a few seconds to render that. So we want to have already a, an audio just to work with. And later on, we can separate all those tracks and uh, mix it individually. But I want to focus on the bongos. And um, with Arcade, I always like to do a structure like this and then a render to audio just to have that there playing um, flawlessly all the time. And uh, later on, I can I can move on on separating each instrument and and so forth. So we have here our audio already, and um, it's uh, that track it's muted already. So I'm gonna put it here. <laughs> Okay, pretty cool. Let me hear just the bongos by itself. As you can see here, um, we actually recorded for that like um, three times, playing right now the last one, which is the one I think it's it's best but it's good it's good practice for you to go ahead and record several versions and maybe there's something one note here that you don't like and you can go back and see if on the other recordings that part right there it's it's better you know if um i decide i like this one better uh just gonna go ahead and here and see this So I like that one better, for example, just hit here. Just gonna go ahead and select that one, but I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna um, maybe mute, mute all this or leave this one right there. So. Then we have this one instead of this or if we want this part you know so you pick and choose like that and start selecting your track um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go full on with the with the last version uh, and if I find any any problems whatsoever I'm gonna go ahead and um, and switch to maybe to another version specific part. This one, the first thing I did was um, lower the volume a little bit because it was, you know, this sounds right here. That one was really loud. Uh, I just generally lower the volume a little bit, but what you can do in the next step, basically to get that uh, vongo ready, um, it's just going all those notes and actually lowering the volume on those notes, okay? Or the quickest way, and I feel like doing this really quick, um, using compression, using a limiter, basically, just to grab the, just to grab the, the peaks. Okay, let me go ahead and render that so you can see um, what it's actually doing. Okay, that's better. Um, looks a lot better right now. I'm gonna leave this one as the Vongo. I'm gonna put here Vongo OG. 
In this one, the render version always in Cubase is going to be now the R. Next thing you want to do actually is uh, clean up a little bit the audio. I'm going to go ahead, advance, detect silence, and it's going to go ahead and do that for you. I'm not gotten anything that I that I actually need. So I'm going to process that. You have that there. Perfect. And next thing you want to do is just do a fades there for all those. And that's pretty much it. So regarding editing, um, I'm treating this one as a final version, of course. Before you do any of that, you just comp the version of the Vongo that you actually like, just to make that clear. Here's the thing. Um, what I like to go first, instead of just going ahead and just compressing right away, I want to first go ahead and grab an equalizer and start working with an EQ on the bongos itself. So, um, yeah. It's a funny picture of Bongo there. I'm going to use that EQ. Let's do the EQ for this one, okay? Let's use this one, okay? So uh, we're going to EQ our Bongo right now. Uh, let's see how it sounds. So as you can see here, I mean, below on, uh, 125, uh, there's barely anything right there. So first thing I'm going to do actually with this, it's I'm going to cut that out right there. So at 100, 190, that's safe uh, for me to cut there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to find frequency that I don't really, really like. I'm going to start cutting that off. So I'm going to start here.
So as you can see here, guys, um, just by doing that EQ right there, um, here's what I'm doing. I'm looking for those couple, uh, couple frequencies that I don't like and then boosting the ones I like. That's pretty much it. Pretty, pretty simple. So let's take a listen to that really quick before. And after. Okay, so now it has more body to it. He has this feel and it's it feels great with the music as well. So let's take a listen. Okay, so after that, um, maybe use golf house. After that, what I like to do um, always for percussive instruments is just getting the the actual um, meat of the hit. So from kilohertz, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have this one transient shaper, and that's gonna help me get the most out of the percussion that percussive um, instrument. Okay, so let's take a listen to that. Sounds a lot better now. So before, and after. Now with the music. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a limiter because that one it's going crazy here with the level. So just to finish it, uh, I I like to do it's maybe create an effect track. There is uh, this actual. Uh, reverb that I got a long time ago. It's an Eventide, uh, Eventide reverb, the 2016 reverb, which I really love. And uh, I don't use that often, but man, it has some so cool presets, especially for percussions. Um, and there's actually one that it says bongos and congas. So I'm definitely gonna use that. 
and I'm gonna mix that into my signals for bongos. So. Okay, so now that you have that, that's a basic uh, mix of the bongos. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do before and after all that, all the effects and, and everything. So before. And that's it, pretty, pretty cool, guys. The only other thing that I will probably add to that, just to give it a little more, more grip, it's um, maybe some distortion, maybe some um, something with the decapitator. Uh, and I'm gonna try that. Uh, let me see what it has for drums here. Let's give it another flavor um, that I that I really like, and I'm gonna um, not gonna go cut the highs that much. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use uh, the virtual mix rack from Slate and try to add something to it. And I'm gonna start from zero here. I'm just gonna leave uh, Revival and Trimmer and I'm gonna start with those because um, I'll leave this one here. I'm gonna start with Revival. See what I can, what I can do for that Vongo. <laughs> I like that. Um, I'm gonna try adding different mics just to see what, what I can accomplish with that. of compression that's how you mix a bongo thank you guys for watching the tutorial today i really appreciate that hope you guys enjoy it and if you're new to this channel please remember to subscribe hit like hit subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss any other videos from us and until next video guys don't stress do your best be blessed forget the rest see you in the next tutorial